What up you guys, Aiden here, and today I'm going to show you how to get PS1 games on your iPod Touch or iPhone. So the first step, it's got to be jailbroken. Next, what you got to do is download two things. You got to get Retro Arch from Cydia. It's free. You got to get iFile from Cydia. I used a hacked version. And then you got to download a plugin from Cydia called Safari Download Manager. Now, once you've done that, it's on to downloading the actual um, ROMs for RetroArch. So what you're going to do is go into Cool ROM. And this will take a while to load. I bookmarked it to my home screen. You're going to go into ROM files right here. And then select Sony PlayStation. And you're going to download one of the games. I've already downloaded... Final Fantasy right here. You go to it. And you click download. It's a very large file. Um, about half a gigabyte. But once you download it, it will appear right here in your downloads. And then once that's done, you got to download a couple things. Um, they're called BIOS files for the PSX right here. And I'll put the link in the description on how to download those. But um, here's the iFile tutorial. So you're going to have in documents, you want to put your ROMs file in there. So create a ROMs file by going to edit plus right there. And then that's where you're going to put all your games um, in your individual folders. Like there's all my PSX games, there's all my Game Boy Advance games. And basically this app can run any of these games right here and many more that's why it's so good alright so next what you're gonna do in iFile is go to settings file manager and turn on hidden files once you do that you'll create the doc retro arch file or you'll be able to see it and this is where you're gonna put um, all of your bios files so these are them right here 1001 5500 5502 and 7502. Um, these are the BIOS files you have to download and you have to paste them into this folder dot retro arch right here. Now once you have that done and you have your ROM installed into a ROM folder all you gotta do is click on the ROM in sorry in retro arch not an i file. So you'll see this folder right here you click on ROMs, click on PSX, and click on the first one right there. And then it will give you the suggested core. The one you want to run is PCSX Rearmed right here. And just to prove to you guys that it works. This is your um, button right here. You press up top, and you can configure the system. Um, what I recommend using right here is a different input overlay the best one in my opinion is PSX landscape so that's your landscape overlay right there alright and just to prove to you guys that that works here's the Final Fantasy loading screen uh, it actually takes a while to load but audio also works with this and yeah there you go you got them working right there your overlay and that's how you get PSX games on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Thanks for watching, you guys. There's a couple important things I forgot to add. So, first of all, once you have your actual ROM and you put it into the PSX folder in your ROMs file, which is, just to make sure you guys notice this, you have to go to var, you have to go to mobile, then you go to documents, and then that's where you find it. So, anyway, once you download your ROM, it's very important that you unarchive it. And by doing this, you click on the file when it's in the .zip or .7z, and you press unarchive. And then you can delete the zip file, and you end up with these two. And that's the actual games you use to play, so that's very important. And the other important thing I forgot is that with your BIOS files you have to change the title of it to lowercase. 
So to do that, you click this little blue arrow right here, and you change that. So that, the letters will be in uppercase, and you have to change them to lowercase. Um, that's the only things I forgot to say. Once those are there and in that folder, then you'll be ready to go.